Here's my template for the muffler. So I'm gonna cut it a lot longer so that I can, when I roll it out, get that flat spot out. I can cut it out. There's our template, or there's our sample. Here's the piece for our Flanders muffler. So let's see if we can try and roll this. Now it's starting. So what I did just before I started is I measured the the distance between the rollers just to make sure I was nice and square. Like I said, I've never used one of these before, so I'm just taking any kind of precaution that I get this right. And then what I'm doing is there's some adjustments screws on the back and I'm just doing it uh, symmetrically.
So that's a good starting point. Rolled it pretty good, pretty even. And we'll start having to cut this out and then start bringing it in to their desired dimension, which is this. So I'll probably have to cut it and then keep rolling it. It's a good start. So after going back and forth and cutting this off and rolling it and cutting it and rolling it, I'm pretty close to it. So we're just gonna kind of finish rolling this one more time and there's a little bit of trimming left, but I'm a, very close to it. So I think that's pretty good. I'll have to just trim it one more time. So you can see how the original end cap fits. So we'll just trim it up and that'll be it. Doing a, just getting these pieces made so did a rough cut, now I trace this all. So I'm gonna try and just clean this up a bit more. In my, uh, in my shop outside, I got the air, air compressor and different tools, but down in the basement shop and I work in the winter, Got a little, a little bit limited to what we have, so you know, doing a bit of hand tool work. So that's uh, pretty close. What we'll do is, uh, you know, I'll clean this up and make this nicer. There's a bit of a concave on the ends here, all the way around. So after I drill all the holes, then I'll have to uh, just bell it a bit. So, and then we'll cut this piece, and I, then we'll fold it over, and uh, yeah, just continue trying to make uh, this muffler. So we have the original cap on, and I marked it. And we're just got to cut it along that seam, and then uh, we'll see how that fits. So we got the cap on. It's trimmed up pretty good. You know, we'll have to just give it a weld all the way along. Still gotta kind of level it out because when I was cutting it, it would just flare it a bit and bend it. So, uh, it's the beginning. It's, uh, it's part of it. I don't mind it. So there's that end cap on, this end cap on. There's a gap. It's a little bit high right there because it's just it's a little it's a little wavy just from cutting it. I'll be able to get that back and weld it up, but uh, I'm happy with that so far. So tonight I uh, 
finish welding this right here. I'm sure we can see inside. So that fits on nice. So one of the next parts is this baffle. So it's flared up on the end. So it when it goes in, it goes in tight. Kind of goes in. It doesn't go all the way in. So this is so it's flared. So when it goes in, it kind of sticks in position so transferred all the holes to this and uh, we'll uh, drill a bunch of holes I've already punched a few of them already center punched them and hundred more to go Last hole. So, got this, uh, all the holes done. I'm gonna have to grind the back off just to get all that off. And you can see on this one, it's got a little indents here. So I'm gonna have to replicate that on all these points here. Um, not sure if I'm going to use a drill or try maybe a grinder or a cut, little cutoff wheel. Then still drill the front, the center one. But what's interesting, so a couple things that's interesting. So if you look, it's actually dished from just drilling it. It's actually concaved it, just like the original. So it's kind of neat that that happened. Um, and then while I was drilling this, I kind of thought about, um, the guy who did this, the guy who drilled all those holes, like I just did, you know, 110, 114 years ago, long dead, totally forgotten. And, uh, but what's wild is when he was drilling this, he would have used a drill, like a, 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 a drill press that, um, would have been run by a belt you know where i'm using a cordless so just uh you know just kind of something i was thinking of it was you know 110 years ago a guy did exactly what i just was doing so we'll continue on So I'm not a machinist, never claimed to be. Took a course uh, 10 years ago and that's it. So anyone who's a machinist is gonna laugh at everything I probably do, but we'll get through it. One thing I never do is not try. I always uh, remember this saying, you only fail if you don't try. And I've always lived by that. Just figuring out where to start. Here is the original center piece of the uh, of the muffler. So this would have went on the front of the bike. This would have went through the back fender, and that entire muffler section would have been in here. So this is all bent, and so that's how it looks. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this down to. The proper length the proper dimension so we can thread this on and uh, make that
So we got it to the desired outside diameter that uh, we can now thread this to make this. But first we're gonna cut it to length and, uh, and machine it down just like this side on the opposite side. Still have to thread it, but uh, the shaft is made. So we finished up the center stud by threading the, uh, the two ends that we'd machined down. And uh, that's a 5 16 24. You can see we finished up the uh, baffle, drilled the hole, cut those little perforations on the end. Similar to this one, these ones are a little bit deeper. So we're about halfway through the build of this muffler. So here's the original muffler. We still have to make the two cones on the inside. Um, we have to machine a piece that will fit inside so I have the right dimension when I start folding the material over here. You can see it's tapers and then it actually goes flat. And on the outside of the muffler, it's riveted in a few spots. So these pieces have to be just right. So made the muffler canister, we'll call it. Um, here's a disc where you're gonna make the end cap with. End cap goes right on top of there. Machine the center stud that mounts uh, to this mount, which goes onto the front uh, like below the seat tube and um, in front of the, like behind the motor. And then the other section goes through the back fender. So we got that machined. We did make the uh, baffle. So there's a, a copy of it. Um, it just got flare the ends out a little bit. This one has a bit of a flare. And one more cone that this is the outside of the other half of the muffler and it uh, it's got serrations on the like for the muffler to for the exhaust to exhaust out of the muffler um, and that's forward so we're about halfway there and uh, I need to get some material so I can machine it to this inside diameter so when I fold it over it's perfect because this uh, this fits over really nice and uh, so I need that same diameter, but a little bit, something more stronger. I don't want to try and fold it over onto the muffler canister and, and damage it. And then we have to get this nut off so we can get this piece off and probably replicate it. And uh, that's it. So that's where we are. That's where we are at the uh, on the muffler and. Uh, Hope you're enjoying this. Um, yeah, just just trying my best to replicate a 110, 114 year old muffler out of that. So we'll finish this, uh, we'll call this part one and uh, stay tuned for part two, where we finish the remainder of the muffler and assemble it. Hope you enjoy this and uh, like and subscribe and uh, watch for part two.